Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply makeup in LUTs on your filter and how to fix the common problem that always happens when you apply the LUT on top of the makeup and the makeup disappear. And also I'm going to add a noise effect on top of everything, okay? So you're going to have a complete filter with makeup, LUT and noise. <laughs> So let's get started. First of all, let's create a new project, okay? Let's create a blank project. And while you open your Spark AR, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel, okay? Because I have a playlist only in English for everyone out there that doesn't speak Portuguese. <laughs> okay, so let's begin creating a face mesh. Actually, let's create four face meshes. Okay. Let me rename the first one as highlight. Next one is going to be push. Lipstick. And our famous retouch. Because the filter, at least a beauty filter, is not a beauty filter without retouch right so here we have four face meshes now let's add one material for each of them so i'm going to create a material for the highlight highlight material brush material lipstick material this type of filter are the most common ones that if you intend to sell it for clients for sure you're gonna make a filter like this since i started selling filters 90 percent of the filter that i my clients ask it's this kind of filter with makeup blood and noise so now retouch okay i have retouch material Okay, let's apply the retouch. Touching, should there type retouching around 22. Lipstick material. It's gonna be. I'm gonna make a very glossy one. So I'm gonna choose physically based. Because I want it to shine. I want it very shiny, so. So that's why I chose physically based. And the blush one is gonna be flat. And highlight's gonna be physically based too. Okay. I'm gonna import here all my textures. I'm gonna put a link below this video so you can download these textures. Okay, now I have all my textures here. I'm gonna place the highlight texture, brush texture, and lipstick. Okay, it's all weird right now because we need to put colors, right? So the brush material is gonna be red, and we're gonna set the opacity on 10 percent it's gonna be very light okay now lipstick it's gonna be red too dark red let's put an environment texture search a library choose sunset so this image here gonna reflect in our lipstick so I'm going to put the metallic all the way up here to 100% you can see the reflection of the texture 
the sunset texture in our lips. And here in blend mode, we can choose add to right, maybe multiply. Let me see if I increase the roughness, if it gets better. I prefer like this, very shiny. Maybe lighter red. And also, when we work with makeup, it's good to come here in project, edit properties, and in capabilities, you pick face tracking, and in accuracy, instead of standard, we put high here so that they place it better our makeup in our face. Okay, and now the highlights. Okay, so in the highlights. We need to set this blend mode to add. Increase the metallic around 80 and the roughness around 60 something. So it's too strong right now. Can bring it a little down here, the opacity 45 maybe. Let's see. I turn off the visibility here you can see the difference okay, I think it's okay oh I'm still missing the eyeliner right so let's put one more face tracker this mesh sorry maybe the eyeliner the material eyeliner material Gonna be flat and let's put the eyeliner texture. It's gonna be black. Okay, now we have our eyeliner. So the only thing missing now it's the eyelashes. For the eyelash, you come here and add assets because the Spark AR already has one standard eyelash here in the AR library come here in block box and pick eyelashes let's import these eyelashes here and bring the block to our scene okay now our makeup is complete I'm gonna bring the length of the eyelashes a little down here okay I think it's okay now let me switch the model Okay, I think it's perfect now and as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial let's now apply a LUT effect right so for this we need to create a rectangle let's name it LUT let's increase the width and the height to 100% Let's create a material for this rectangle. It's gonna be LUT material. It's gonna be flat, shader type flat. And here in the input of the texture, you're gonna click here in this little button here. And now we have to plug our LUT shader in this material here. And the Spark AR also has uh, LUTs since version 102, I think. So let's go to search AI library. Let's go here to color LUTs. And we have 33 options of LUTs here. Okay. So let's pick this mango one. Mango. Let's import it. So now we have our color LUT here. And I'll just drag this file to our patch editor. And automatically our Spike AR brings this color LUT shader. Okay. So the LUT is gonna be connected in this input here. And we're gonna connect the output of the shader in our material. Nothing happened yet because we need 
to apply here the texture of the camera okay so let's click here in camera and let's track the texture so click here in texture extraction camera texture are here now we can drag it here connect in texture okay and now we have our LUT applied to our image however that's the first problem we face here when we are working with LUT and makeup is that our faces our face meshes are in front of the rectangle so you can see here that the LUT is not applied in our face so let me see another one in this model too because the face are in front of our rectangle you can see it here in the viewport and with this guy you can see sometimes it has a LUT applied and sometimes it doesn't have the LUT applied to his face because it depends on the distance to the camera okay for example let me choose this one she is very far from the camera so her face you can see it here is behind the rectangle okay so the LUT is applied in her entire body including her face however her makeup disappeared can you see it here there's no makeup on her face so we have two problems when the user is too far from the camera uh, our LUT works but the makeup disappeared and the user is too close to the camera like here the makeup is applied but the LUT is not applied on her face so to fix that we need to duplicate this shader here so let me connect those things here and duplicate pressing ctrl d and connect again okay and with this other shader or load shader we need to connect to another face mesh okay so i need to create one more face mesh here on our face tracker face mesh let's name it LUT let's create a material LUT face material let's set the shader type to flat let's drag the input of the texture to our patch editor we can connect here the same you have to connect the same color LUT to this input here Let's connect the output to our material. And now here in texture, instead of connecting the camera texture, we need to connect only the face texture. So you can get this face texture here in face tracker. And in texture extraction, you can click here in this plus button. Okay, now we extracted the face tracker texture drag it here and now connect Ta-da! so it's fixed that problem because the LUT is applied on our face too let's check with that other model this one here that's very close to the camera so now we fixed that problem however we still need to fix the makeup problem right because the makeup is not showing up here so to fix that, we're gonna bring our canvas that has our rectangle inside it. Let's bring it, let's bring it here before our face tracker, okay? Because now when we do this, our rectangle is gonna be rendered before our face tracker. But for this to work, we need to come here to the material of our rectangle, load material. You're gonna uncheck these two options here, use depth test and write to depth. And now we have to bring this face mesh here to the face mesh where we apply the LUT. We have to bring it on top of all the other face meshes. Okay. So now we have our makeup applied in our face. 
So let's check with other models. See now it's working. I see we have a little problem here inside the mouth, inside the eyes. It's because in this face mesh we need to uncheck both eyes and mouth here. And when we do this, we have another problem. I don't know if you can notice it here, but the lipstick is not applied on the entire lips. So to fix that, we need to do the same thing in all materials. So we need to select the material and come here to advanced render options and uncheck all these options here. Okay. And all of them except with the retouch one because you can do that here okay so i think now we are okay everything's fixed everything looks fine now and that's it now we have makeup and LUT and the same filter working perfectly together the only thing that we need to fix now, it's not so visible here in our simulator, but there is a line here that divides our face meshes from the background. So to fix this line here, to hide it, we need to apply another texture. This one here, face mesh mask. I'm going to bring it to our project. And let's apply this texture. In this material here in our LUT face material so here in this alpha channel you're gonna check this little square here any texture you're gonna apply the face mesh mask now the line should disappear yeah it disappeared so now our filter is working a hundred percent and now just to finish I'm going to apply that noise texture that I said before. And now, just to finish it, I'm going to apply that noise texture that I mentioned in the beginning of the, the tutorial. So for that, let's apply, let's add another rectangle. Okay, this rectangle should be on top of everything else. So I'm going to set this to 100%. Let's add a material to this. Create new material, it's gonna be noise material, it's gonna be flat. So, as I said, this rectangle should be under all the rest here because I want it to be rendered after everything else. So, I'm gonna add another canvas and bring the rectangle to this canvas here. Now it covers everything. And this noise material, I'm gonna apply the noise texture. This one. Okay, we have the noise here on top of everything. Now I just need to change the blend mode to add and decrease the opacity a little down here, maybe around 40%. And as you can see here, we have that same problem. His face is in front of the in front of the rectangle with the noise. So here we have also to disable these two features here. Okay. And now I fixed it. Okay, that's it. Now we have a complete 100% perfect filter. As I said before, this is the most common type of filter that you're gonna make if you have clients, because like 9% of your clients are gonna ask for a filter with makeup, LUT and some noise texture or dust so guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and until next time okay bye